No lament for Smiggy. Smiggy's no more, I should say, even less, for there never was much to commend. A withdrawn, insignificant sort of a chap, not the kind you would choose to befriend. But we'd known him since school days, or maybe before, omnipresent but strangely unseen, a fringeling, an extra, a kind of spare cog in life's randomly cruel machine. Not invited to parties or asked round to play, always last to be picked for the team, peevish and uncharismatic, destined not to have fun, it would seem. So when news reached these parts that he'd ended it all, we were saddened but hardly distressed, and in death, as in life, he was largely ignored, little interest was even expressed. Strange to say, though, I'd say paradoxical too, but we'll miss him a bit now he's bought it. Though we never helped lighten his load, it transpires. He was one of the gang. Who'd have thought it?